Excel VBA provides a specific set of functions to perform operations on string. We call these functions as string manipulation functions. The first two functions are ASCII and character. So if we want ASCII value of a particular character, we use ASCII function. And if we want character associated with that ASCII value, we need character function. So if you refer the ASCII table, you can see that 65 is ASCII value of character A, 66 is for B, and similarly it goes on. And for small a, it is different. So every character has a different ASCII value. And if you want to check the ASCII value through VBA, you just open VBA and use the function ASCII value of the character. You can either save this value in some variable or it's directly display in a message box. Or you can also uh, print that on console using debug.print. So it gives me 65. If I do it for small a, it gives me 97. Just reverse of it if you want to see the character associated to a sky value, you can use message box chr of let's say 97. So this should give you small a. The next set of functions are in string and in string reverse. Like in Excel formulas, we use find function to find the position of a character or set of characters in a string. Similarly, we use in string function to find the position of a character. And in string reverse function is also to uh, uh, serve the same purpose but in a different way. So if we look at in string, so we see that the input string is extreme excel is best. Now suppose you want to find the position of character i in the string. So it will start counting from left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, twelfth space, 13 is the position of character i. So the output should be 13. In the second function in string reverse, you also see that output is again 13. The only difference is the in string function start searching for that character from left and move towards right. But in string reverse function starts from right and move towards left. But it always gives you the position from left to right. So the position of i will always remain 13. It is not going to count from right like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 8. It won't count like this. It will be searching in this way, but it will be counting from the left only. So if you think that your character that you want to search is near to the right, you better start from right and use in string reverse function. And if you think that your character that you want to search is near to the left corner, so you can use in string function. So let us use it in string. The first argument is start. From where do you want to start? You can put 1 by default that you want to start from the first character, whatever that character is. Then you need to put the main string. Let's say this is my main string. Then you need to put what do you want to search in this string. And then the method will be text compare. You can either print that on console using debug.print or you can display this content in a message box or you can save it in a variable. So it gives you 13. Similarly, if I use in string reverse function, so now it asks me string check. What do you want to check? This is my string which I want to check. What do you want to search for? What is a match? That is string match. Start. If you want to start from extreme right, put minus 1 here. 
and then the method vb text compare and then you can save this value in a message uh, in a variable or you can dis uh, display in a console or in a message box so i'm commenting the first one by using one single quote again it gives me 13 The next set of functions L case and U case are basically for changing the case of the text. If you want to make your text lower case, you can use L case function. If you want to make it upper case, you can use U case function. So for example, in uh, this cell, extreme Excel is written in uh, the, the, the way like X is small and then T is capital, few other characters are in small then few of these are in capital if you want all of them to be small you can use l case if you want to use uh, if you want to uh, see all of these as capital you can use u case function it is very straightforward just use l case of the string and then message box So it converts that entire string into lowercase. If I do u case, it will convert that entire string into uppercase. Now if you want to see the length of your string, you can use length function. So length of the string. Your string should be in double quotes. Or we can either pick it from a variable. Or maybe from a cell so it gives me 11 the next set of functions are very very important these are basically to extract data from the string either from left or from right or somewhere from the middle so if you want to extract something from the left of the string you can use left function for example the string is in this tutorial So if I say dem a as string and a is nothing but in this tutorial. I want to extract five first characters from the left. So I can use left. The string is a. How many characters do I want to extract? I want to extract five characters and I want to display this entire con uh, content in a message box. So it gives me i n then a space and then th it is very important to see that it counts space also as a character so there are five characters in total if we want to extract something from the right like if i change the string to manipulate strings and I want to extract last five characters I can use write function with same arguments first is string and second is number of characters it gives me last five characters you can see dot is also a character now the third one is very important to extract something from middle So if my string is, you will learn to manipulate strings. Now let's say you want to extract learn, right? So you need to know the position of the characters and then the number of characters you want to extract. So L starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. L starts from 8. And after 8, you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 characters. So you'll be using mid. String is in A. You want to start from 8th character. After 8th character, you want to extract 5 characters. 
So first is the position, the start position from where you want to start and then the number of characters that you want to extract. And you can display this in a message box. So it gives you learn. The next set of functions are to trim the leading and trailing spaces from your string. Suppose you have some unwanted spaces before and after the string. We are not talking about the spaces in between. We are just talking about the space, uh, spaces present before or after the string. Right? You can see here I have marked the spaces as underscore. But consider these as spaces. Let's say you have spaces here in the beginning and in the, in the end of the string. And if you want to remove only the leading spaces, the left ones, you can use ltrim function. If you want to remove only the trailing spaces, you can use rtrim function. And if you want to remove both, you can use trim function. So I'll show you here, if a is my string and I put some spaces here, I put my name here and then I put spaces here. And if I want to see on console debug dot print l trim of a it should be debug dot print and I will open the console so you see here my string string started directly from k and there are trailing spaces if i do not do trimming if i directly print k uh, the string a it should be printing the spaces see it is printing the leading spaces as well as the trailing spaces now if we trim from right So now you can see it is printing the leading spaces but trailing spaces are not there and if we do trim it will be removing both the spaces leading as well as trailing there are no spaces suppose you have a space in between if I put my entire name and if I try to trim it, it won't be trimming the spaces in between. It will be removing only the leading and trailing spaces. Even if we have multiple spaces in between, it is not going to remove them. Next is replace function. So you see the string this course teaches you if you want to replace let's say the word course if you want to replace with a tutorial you can do it through replace function doing it is very easy I have a string named a here I want to replace the word course with tutorial so what I need to do is, I just need to use the replace function, string expression is a, I want to find course, I want to replace it with tutorial, I want to start from extreme left first character and then the number of occurrences. If I put minus one, it will replace all the occurrences of that particular word or character the next argument is we be text or compare you can display it in the message box so it replaces it now it is very important to see here if my string is camel or let's say Hello Excel learners, you are here, 
watching extreme exo now i want to replace excel this one and this one with capital excel or let's make it small e for the time being i want to replace all the excel with e x c e l capitals right so i can use replace function or maybe some other word so i can use replace function the thing is this i want to find excel i want to replace it with excel in capital right and i want to start from extreme left let's put minus 1 initially and then display in a message box and see what happens it replaces all the occurrences now instead of minus 1 i put 1 here so you see it replaced only first occurrence if i put 2 here it replaces two occurrences let's see if we have multiple excels this word here multiple times it replaced only two times not for others if you put minus 1 it replaces all the next function is for string comparison the name of function is string comp let's say you have two strings a and b a is kamal b is hello and if you do string comparison of a and b it won't give you zero it it will either give you one or minus one now if it gives you zero that means strings are equal if it gives you minus one that means string one is less than string two and if it gives you plus one that means string one is greater than string two if i make them equal i'll get zero it is not case sensitive so even if i try to compare in lower and upper case it will give me zero the next one is string reverse if you just want to reverse your string you can use string reverse function so string reverse of a it will simply reverse the string so that's all uh, let's have a quick look at the functions that we have gone through a sky character a sky is for a sky value of a character character is to get the character corresponding to a sky value in string function is for finding particular character or set of characters in a string it will give you the position from left towards right it will be searching and in string reverse will give you the position but will be searching from right to uh, left then we have l case and u case for converting to lower or upper case len function to find the length of the string left mid and right for extraction of data either from left or from middle or from right trimming functions to remove the leading and trailing spaces then we have replace function to replace set of characters or a single character from a string and number of occurrences string comparison for comparing two strings and string reverse to just find the reverse of a string thank you for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll watch uh, date manipulation functions bye bye